Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. My name is Marcus and this is Saab Cars. What if you don't want to buy a Tech 2 for pulling all your fault codes from your old generation 9.5? There is actually a solution for that. Stick around to find out. <coughs> welcome back to the channel guys. So, you don't want to buy the Tech 2 but you still want to be able to pull all the fault codes from your old generation 9.5. So, with the Tech 2 you can actually add and remove things, different modules in the car, but if you don't need that, you just need to get the codes and maybe look at some, I don't know, sensor outputs, like can the car detect if the door is open or not? Well, there is an instrument from iCarsoft. It's called the iCarsoft Volume 2 and it's for Saab and Volvos. And it's for different Saab models like the old generation 9.5, the new generation 9.3 and also for the new generation 9.5. I have to check if it's possible to do it with the old generation 9.3. I can probably show you that in a video further down the road. So today we're going to look at these instruments. We're going to do a unzipping, not unboxing, a unzipping. So this is the first unzipping on this channel. So stick around and you'll see what's in the package. We're going to look at the different things inside and we're going to test this out on the old generation 9.5 as well. So let's get into the unzipping guys. So let's see what's inside the iCarsoft zip case. We open it up and it reveals a manual and a USB cable. You also get a card reader for the micro SD card and of course the instrument itself. We also need a cable a cable to connect the instrument to the car in the OBD connector. So that is what's in the case. Pretty nice case to actually store your instrument in when not using it. I have already upgraded this to the latest version and that can be done with the iCarsoft update tool. So on the iCarsoft homepage, you can go in and you can take a look at the product. You can scroll through the uh, features and all the specs. And on that page, you will also find a link for uh, downloading the update software tool. And make sure you, if you get this instrument, if this instrument, if you buy this, make sure you update it to the latest version. So you have all the functions and all the features for the different models. So this works on Saabs and also on Volvos. So when uh, upgrading the software, you actually, if you have the micro SD card inserted into the instruments, you take that out and you use the uh, card reader that you got with the uh, instrument. Uh, you put that into the computer and you launch the upgrade software and you can see what kind of upgrades are available. You also have buttons on the right side, up, down, left, right, OK, escape and a help button as well. So you can look up different codes on the instrument if it's in the so-called fault code library it will present the uh, explanation of the fault code. So connect one end into the diagnostic tool and the other end into the OBD connector. So let's get into the old generation 9.5 and see what this instrument is all about. So let's turn on the ignition first and then I'll connect the instrument with the connector in the with the cable in the OBD connector and it starts up 
you'll see some information regarding the system versions and so on and then the logo type the icar soft logo so here you have diagnose settings and help let's take a look at settings here you can change language unit of measure which is metric or imperial beeper on off record mode if you want to record stuff on the sd card later on and then let's go into diagnose you have obd2 which is a generic diagnostic feature and we have the brand specific diagnostics for saab and volvo so let's go into saab on the top you have saab which is a uh, option that you go into when you want to di diagnose the different modules if you only need to reset the service indicator you have the oil lamp reset down here as well brake reset parking brake reset for vehicles that have that so let's dive into Saab and let's pick the latest version 11.37 And here we can choose Diagnose at the top. And let's pick the year model. And for this old generation 95 Aero, it's 2005. And here you have 95, the new generation 93 and 97X. So let's pick, pick the 95. And let's pick Trionic because that is what I have in this car. And let's do a automatic diagnostic and let the instrument go through the different modules that we have in the car to see if there are any fault codes in those modules. So this will take maybe a minute or something to go through all of these and let's see what happens when it's done. I actually had a problem with the CD changer a few years ago because I removed it from the car without divorcing it. So in one of the Tech 2 for Dummy videos I actually do the proper divorce of the CD changer because that was generating fault codes every time I did a diagnose. So it was pretty annoying. So in this case you have all the modules in the car now so we can for example, I'm parked inside now. We can take a look at the parking assistance. And we can read the data stream. So we can actually see the distance on all four parking sensors. So I pick these four and then I press escape. And then you will see the distance. So currently it's not on because it says 255 centimeters and that's probably also because uh, it's not in reverse so if I if the car was actually running and I had it in reverse these figures would change as soon as a uh, object gets closer or uh, if, if it increases the distance to the parking sensors so you can actually see that And then you can go into the uh, some of the other modules. Let's go into the uh, PMM and look at the data stream there. Left mirror, right mirror, and so on. You can actually take a look at these parameters while you're doing something while you're pressing the tilt switch maybe your tilt switch doesn't work and you can actually see here if the press is registered by the car very useful and the SID also can 
look at the data stream. Outdoor temperature, for example, it says 19 degrees. Oh, that's working. Yeah, so you could basically go through all the different modules and take a look at the codes and the parameters that the module can produce. Awesome. We can take a look at the different year models. So in 2010 we had both the old generation and the new generation 9.5 as you can see here in the list. So the old generation on top and the new generation on the bottom. And in between the new generation 9.3 as well. So and in 2011 we have the new generation 9.3, the new generation 9.5 and the 9.4X. Yeah, so this was basically a small introduction to the iCore Soft Volume 2 for Saab and Volvo. So, I'm pretty happy how the result turned out. It was very easy to get the instrument started and it was very easy to get into the menu structure, finding out what to do. So, as you saw, I can diagnose all the different modules and after the diagnose step is done, I can dive into any of the modules and look at data streams. So if you have something that are not working properly, like one of the parking sensors, for example, you can't actually get that much information with the cheapest dongles, the cheapest OBD2 dongles out there on the market. So for that, excellent. The thing you can't do with this is actually to add or remove modules from the car. You need the Tech2 for doing those kind of procedures. But how often do you actually add or remove any uh, module? It's basically if the module itself is broken. So if you just need to diagnose something, you need to change your sensor or whatever, this is perfectly fine for that. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please like, share and subscribe and I'll put some links to places where you can buy this in Sweden in the description section below. If you have any experience or any comments regarding the iCarsoft for Saab Volvo or maybe for iCarsoft instruments in general, please put that in the comment section. I hope you all have a great weekend or day or evening and I'll see you in the next one guys. Take care and drive safe.